So here we go. Classes I've got coming up this week on Monday, yoga and relaxation using the essential oils. Everybody is welcome in that. Let me, how do I get rid of, so you don't see me. Um, there was a way to do it. I like that. Don't know. Okay. Um, Wednesday, Deterra usually where we go out and about and we, we get to meet up in a hotel and have lots of lovely lessons learning about the essential oils. Obviously with COVID, that's not happening, but it's moved online and completely free. There is a link in the, this Facebook group. You can book yourself a ticket on Wednesday. It's 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. There'll be lots of different speakers talking about the oils and, and ways that you can use the oils. So that's the Deterra UK Spring Tour online on Wednesday. Now, because of that, I won't be doing our private group education because obviously I'll be attending that, that, that online on Wednesday. And then next Friday, we'll be here again doing a question and answer. So here we go. Let's want to talk to you. This evening, I've got a few classes coming up, which you are welcome to book yourself onto. Talking about essential oils and emotions. Um, you've heard me say many times how we can use the essential oils to have an effect on our emotions and the emotions of the people that we're living with. So if, we, if we're wearing the essential oils, it's going to have an effect on our emotion. If we're diffusing the essential oils, it's going to have an effect on the, our, our emotions, but also the emotions of people around us. And it only takes a few seconds for there actually to be a chemical reaction. Now, emotions are actually short-lived chemical responses in your brain that set off a pattern of, of events um, in, in your body. I go into more detail in the class that I teach on this. I'm just going to touch on it very briefly this evening. Now, emotions are processed in the limbic system of the brain. I'm going to show you a picture in a moment that will help to perhaps understand how essential oils and the sense of smell have such a strong effect on the limbic system and on our emotional response. Smell can actually passes through the blood brain barrier because of the chemistry of the essential oil, the molecules that make up that essential oil as you take, as you, as you smell, that they are so small, those molecules, they can pass through cell membranes. Let's just have a look. Um, if you can see where the arrow is po pointing to, that's pointed to your limbic system of your brain. So we smell, we take the smell in, we take the molecules of the essential oil in through the nose, stimulating the olfactory nerve and affecting the blood brain barrier. I swiped this slide and a screenshot from one of Justin's uh, webinars this week, which was really, really interesting and fascinating. One oil can contain dozens or even hundreds of naturally occurring constituents that allow it to provide many benefits. So a single oil can have hundreds of compounds that would have an effect on our emotions. And then obviously we then have the blends. So we, we could have a, a single oil, which is peppermint, and that will have hundreds of naturally occurring constituents in it. But if we combine peppermint with wild orange, we then get both oils combining. The aroma of an essential oil can have an immediate effect on the body and brain chemistry. It really does just take seconds for this to happen. Um, I've seen this happen so powerfully, um, lavender particularly, um, and serenity, which has got the lavender in. If you have a child that's having a meltdown, simply taking the top off a bottle of, of lavender or serenity and wafting it around and, and see what happens. Now, We've got the BOGOs going at the moment, so I thought it would be a good idea if, if we look at the BOGO oils. I know um, quite a few of you have already taken advantage of these. Um, if you've already got your wholesale account, get these done on your LRP. The BOGOs are still live today. Do them on your LRP, get some extra points and save yourself some extra money. But if you haven't opened up your wholesale account yet, get in touch with one of us. We can help you today open up that wholesale account and save even more money. 
So there's a few different offers. You can com you can combine different different offers. You know, do more than one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the emotional aspects of of each of, of of these oils of some of these oils that are in the offer. So we've got green mandarin. If you buy green mandarin, you get yellow mandarin free. We're not usually able to buy yellow mandarin. So it's actually the only way that we can get this oil. Great use in cooking. I, I shared some recipes for cooking the, the other evening with these. I don't have a lot of information, but I found this. Green mandarin gives you limitless potential so you live fearless and, and be hopeful. It helps us to feel fearless and hopeful. It's a citrus oil. So it, it has a lot of the same qualities as the other citrus oils, very uplifting, um, uplifting and energizing. The next offer is, oh, these are great for putting in salad, salad dressings and cooking, um, but smelling these, using these for emotional aromatherapy. You buy the pink pepper, you can get the black pepper for free. And I did find some, so black pepper helps you to feel open rather than feeling restrained and the pink pepper can stop you feeling derailed now i'm going to have i i've studied a lot on emotional healing using the essential oils it ties in with my yoga teaching where anything that we do with the physical body has an effect on the mental and the emotional body um, and then tying it in with the, the with, with the smell as well makes it really really effective and black pepper is called the oil of unmasking it helps us to unmask things that we're hiding in ourselves. Um, from childhood, we've been taught that we have to hide, hide, to hide some things. We, there were certain feelings and behaviours that were not encouraged to express. Um, perhaps things that we get judged for or criticised for. Um, and so we, we get conditioned at quite a young age, actually, to to, to re to, to restrain ourselves but black pepper actually invites us to dig into those emotions and let them out and this is saying whatever whatever you emotionally bury in your body your physical body is going to express whatever you you you, you plant deep down in your body is going to come out somewhere and I was having a chat with Missy today about emotion and saying it's perfectly fine to feel angry it's what you do with that anger and it's how you express that anger. It's perfectly fine to feel sad. It's what you do with that sadness and how you express it. So it's good. This is what I like to teach with my yoga, to acknowledge every emotion that we have and learn how to deal with it. And this is where the essential oils can be really useful because we can use an essential oil to change, a, to move from a positive emotion, uh, from a negative emotion to a positive emotion. Um, Zengest, um, Digest Zen book called Zengest in the UK, and you get a free wintergreen. So let's have a look at wintergreen. Wintergreen, you use wintergreen if you want to feel receptive. It is not, oh, I, I can tell you about Digest Zen as well. Hang on. Um, Da, da, da. I've made lots of notes, I've got them all over here. So wintergreen is the oil of surrender. I love it in a bath. It can help somebody who's strong-willed, who isn't very good at letting go, um, and somebody who always wants to be in the right. Um, it's, it's encouraging you to surrender to a higher power, to whatever you want to call that, whatever your um, religious or spiritual beliefs are. It's wintergreen lets your soul, it sort of teaches your soul how to let go, to be free of any negativity and pain that you, you could be holding on to, anything that's, that, that, that's painful. It reminds you that you don't have to do life on your own. You can surrender your burdens and there is a higher power that's there to, to help us. Um, so it can help you to learn to, to rely on divine grace, to, to not be attached, to be, to be teachable, to be open. Um, and the other oil that comes with in this offer, the digestive blend, the digestive blend is the oil of digestion. And we think of digestion on the physical level and everything to do with the digestive system. But the digestive system and emotion are very, very closely linked. 
Um, we, we, we say, don't we, that you have trouble swallowing something, um, I, I, swallowing the truth. Uh, so the digestive blend, as well as helping us to, on, on a physical digestive level, it can help us mentally and emotionally. Um, it's also a, a good oil if you've lost interest in life and interest in the physical world. You, somebody who perhaps takes too much on gets too overloaded with information and stimulation, which can actually lead to um, what would you call like an emotional indigestion. So when you've got too much happening that you can't break down, you can't take it in, using the digest scent can, can help you with that. Um, so when your soul is being overwhelmed using the digest zen oil can, can, can help to sort of break it down and, and help you to assimilate and take take on um, new, new things now this isn't a buy one get get one this is a buy one get two free so you you bought the blue tansy you can get roman chamomile and lavender for free um, let's have a look you, you would use your Roman chamomile if you want to feel intentional rather than feeling a downtrod. And I love these graphics. I've got these from um, Lisa. Um, Roman chamomile is, is, is called the oil of spiritual purpose. It helps individuals discover their true life purpose. So regardless of what you do for a living, this oil can help you to find your, your own purpose and meaning in life. Um, it's not necessarily what you do with your, your outward actions. It might be what's in your heart, what's in your soul, what you, you put out into the world, um, our, our centre of being, where, 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 where we actually operate from. Roman chamomile can help you to get rid of um, meaningless activities that take up your time so that you can actually focus on more fulfilling work, the, the work that your soul is, is here to do. It all can using this this um, oil can also help perhaps if you're looking to connect with other people that could help you on that path and on that purpose. Uh, Roman chamomile is a great one to do. Now, blue tansy, blue tansy is in your deep blue blend. It's an oil that we don't really use a lot on its own as we use it in, in the blends. For those of you, I know a couple of you have, 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 have ordered this on the BOGO. Blue Tansy is, is um, it's a very inspiring oil. It can help you to take action to change your circumstances. Um, so perhaps if you become a bit stuck and you, you look at, you're needing that spark, that something to, to get you going, Blue Tansy is, is a great one for that. But it could also encourages you to get in line with that inner voice that that whatever's prompting you to make changes um sometimes if we repress the messages to to make changes and to live in alignment we can end up feeling lethargic drained sluggish and exhausted whereas blue tansy can then give us that spark to to reclaim that that life that we're dreaming of to help to um, manifest our passion into action and help us to actually feel that we're, we're going somewhere we're, do, we're, do, we're doing something it's a good one if you have a tendency to procrastinate and resist change blue tans is a good one to help to move through that sort of procrastination that leth lethargy apathy um, it can help you to feel more inspired um, and motivated and, and, and have a purpose lavender we all know lavender um, as a great oil to use for sleep and to help us to sleep it's a, it, is, it is an oil of calm but it's also called the oil of communication um, it helps us to verbally express. It can cure, help to calm any insecurities that we've got when we're looking at um, our thoughts, our feelings. If we've got um, a fear of being seen and being heard, lavender is, is a good one that, that, that we can use. If, perhaps if we're hiding our, our true self and not expressing our true self lavender is a good one to help us to move forward and, and put and, and put ourselves out there a, a little bit more it's so if we've got kind of like blocked communication fear of rejection 
Um, another thing that lavender is good for if you have racing thoughts, so this is where we think of it for calming. One thing I will say, if you're using your oils to help to calm your mind down, rub them on your big toe. And we, when we look at reflexology and reflexology points, the big toe is connected to the brain and the mind. So if you're struggling with a really busy mind and you wanted to calm your thoughts down, so you're going to look at using something like your lavender and your serenity, rub it onto the big toe, massage the big toe with it. And that's a really useful tip for children and babies as well. Um, so yeah, lavender helps you to feel calm, opens up your communication, um, help, helps with, with peace of mind. I think I've done those so I've no blue tansy when we come out. Oh, yeah. So what's the next? Oh, another couple of great oils for cooking, turmeric and peppermint. So you buy the turmeric, you get peppermint for free. Um, do I have emotional? There we go. Turmeric helps you to feel secure rather than vulnerable. And peppermint helps you to feel passionate instead of hampered. Let's talk to you about peppermint. I've got some notes here in this book. Peppermint, the oil, this is essential emotions, the oil of a buoyant heart. It invigorates. Peppermint is a really invigorating oil. It's the one if we're feeling tired, lethargic, and we need waking up and we need to get going. It's the one that I put on um, a wooden peg and clip to the vent in the car or the van if I'm driving to help to keep, keep me awake. Um, brings joy and buoyancy. It invigorates your body, your mind, your spirit. It's, it's, it reminds you that you can be happy. Um, helps to lift your soul. It's a good one if you're feeling heavy hearted, pessimistic, um, because it, it brings about that feeling of optimism and it's really, really good one to put with a citrus oil, the peppermints as well. So pepper, like I like peppermint wild orange, peppermint and tang tangerine. They go well together. I don't think I have any extra notes on turmeric. I did put them now, so let's have a go. Oh, what have I done? Oh, I've just discovered that if I use the little wheel, it moves things on. That was the emotional aspects. I'm, I am doing a class a whole session on the essential oils and how and why they affect us emotionally and how we can use the essential oils emotionally. Um, so that's going to be, it, it was supposed to be last Wednesday, that it was going to be this Wednesday, but we've had so much happening in the Deterra world that what I've done is I've decided that I'm going to do that next Wednesday. Um, possibly looking at making our Wednesday classes six o'clock as well because that seemed to work quite well to do it. But um, watch out for a post will go up with, with, with um, the information of that. Now, we save a lot of money with our wholesale accounts with doTERRA um, because you can buy the doTERRA at full price, but it's far better to have your own wholesale account Having a wholesale account isn't committing you to run a business or sell the oils or anything like that. It simply means that you and your family can save yourself 25% on the cost of the oils, but you can also take part in the loyalty reward scheme and save even more money. And each week we give away some gifts we, uh, with our LRP love. And I think you're, you are actually on here on, the, on this call. This week's LRP love is Irene. Um, so for spending more than one PV, you can choose yourself um, one of the living magazines, an inhaler, or a bracelet. Um, the bracelets that are there, they've got like lava beads on, and you put the essential oil on, so you become your own diffuser. I have bracelets and necklaces. Um, so I'll get in touch with you, Irene, we'll, I'll tag you. We'll see what you want and what oil you want on it, if or whatever. I thought I'd start sharing um, some recipes um, in, in each of these little videos. So. I thought it would be a good idea to look at the oils that come in the, the 10 kit, the, the introductory kit. So open up your wholesale account. It's just £24 to open up a wholesale account. Or what you can do is start with one of the kits. Um, that £24 is, is waived, then you don't need to, to pay that. Um, Deterra have put together lots of different kits 
And what we do is we help you to find the kit that's the best value for you, for your family needs. The most popular kits come with a set of 10 oils. And one of those oils that's in there is oregano, which is an absolutely fantastic oil for boosting our immune system. Um, but it was my last one that I opened. I didn't know what to do with it. I actually ended up using, using it most in cooking until I found out more about the immune benefit of it. It's a very, very strong oil though. If you are applying it to your skin, you must, must, this is one of those that you must, must, must dilute in fractionated coconut oil or in the body lotion. If you're not sure about using the oils or how to use the oils, get yourself set up with with one of us with the wholesale account. Um, we'll drop you into our education classes. We'll link you up with apps, books, and any teaching that you need to learn how to use these amazing oils that have got so many benefits. So the first time I used oregano oil, I literally took the top off the bottle and sprinkled it over my salad. And I was sharing this salad with a friend and it nearly burnt her mouth off. It is far too strong to just put on like that. So what you need to do is what we call the toothpick method. And you get a wooden tooth. So if we were using the olive oil, the, the oregano and putting it in a soup, a stew or something like that, what we would do is get a toothpick, dip the toothpick into your bottle of essential oil and then swirl it into your food. So you're not even putting a drop into a pan of food. And you, you can add more, but you can't take it out. And really, you, you, you'll probably find a couple of toothpicks done that way will be as much as you need. If you're adding it to a stew, a soup or a bolognese, so something where you are heating up your ingredients, what I do is I take it off the heat and then add the essential oil at the end. I also have in my kitchen um, some different spray bottles with different essential oils. And what I do is I will take an olive oil, an olive oil base, put some olive oil in a spray bottle and then add drops of the essential oil. So I have one that's got rosemary in it for making rose potatoes. I have one with oregano, basil and rosemary in that I like on salad. Um, I have another one that's got um, all the oils that like I would use in, when I'm making um, a curry or a, a sort of curry flavoured rice. So it's got all the different like the cardamom, um, cardamom, turmeric, clove, cinnamon, and so I put a few drops in. Again, if you attend one of, if you, once you've opened up your wholesale account, we've got classes and you can come and you can do one of the classes that we've got cooking with the essential oils. Um, but if you get a spray bottle of olive oil, and I recommend the, do check that you get an olive oil that is for frying or baking and roasting. Because if you use, unless you, looking to make a salad dressing, then you want a different type of olive oil, okay? But if you get the one that can be used for frying or roasting and you add a few drops of oregano to it, you could then use that to spritz on vegetables before you roast them. If you've never tried kale chips, really, really recommend these. So you get your kale and you rip it off the stalk. You make it so that it's like small into small pieces and then you rub the olive oil into the kale before you roast it if you want the recipe for it for any of these if you're not sure do ask and i'll happily share them but that's just some quick and easy ways and what you will find i i find i don't use dried herbs and spices I, if I've got the essential oil version of it, because the essential oil flavour is so much cleaner, so much fresher. Um, let me stop my share and see if we've got any questions. I'm going to can't stop that recording. Oh, are there any questions? So those of you who were, uh, if you want to unmute yourself, if you've got any questions. Um, 
I'm going to take it off Facebook. So there we go. I'm going to 